Super Showdown is eight days away, and there's two matches on here we need to go over, so let's get to it. First off, the Lucha House Party faces Lars Sullivan in a three-on-one handicap match. Now, this was from the last pay-per-view. They The Luchas were going to have a six-man tag. Lars it got involved, destroyed them before the match even got involved, to the point where Lars cut himself open, had a pretty bad gash on his skull um, from a head, but I'm not sure how he did that, but something must have happened. I'm not really sure. Because it was a pretty bad gash, so it was kind of concerning at first. But he's fine, apparently, and we'll have this match. And I would not be surprised if Lars won. I'm going to pick Lars, but the Luchas have the advantage. But Lars is a is a thing of... It's hard to describe Lars Sullivan. Because this guy is something that... I have never seen before, that some people have never seen before, and if I have, it's been a very long time at that, but he, he's something that's kind of indescribable, something that's that's intriguing. I mean, the guy, it's not just the casual, moves like a cruiserweight, but it's like maybe 300 pounds, 300 plus. It's just his intensity. It's his, it's the way he carries himself. It's everything else. It's uh, it's everything else besides that. But um, the guy is honestly on his way to becoming a star. Barring the things he did in the past, those are inexcusable. But barring those, he could be a world champion down the road, in my opinion. And finally. The Universal Championship as Seth Rollins defends against Baron Corbin. This one's very simple. Rollins retains, but there is the possibility of Brock Lesnar cashing in his boombox. It's uh, on this card. It's very possible, but again, he has a year, and of course, Brock not reading contracts like he does uh, did not realize he had a year to cash it in. So if it keeps him being on Raw for a year, I'm all for it. Just have him learn something new every week. Why not? Just have him do something. But at the end of the day, uh, Super Showdown is eight days away. And if we have anything going on, we will let you know.